Hello everybody, it is JD here and welcome to today's 2K video and we are back at it again with another pack opening. Not with VC today, thankfully, with some good old fashioned MT. It is the first drop of season 8, it is the three endgame drop of Paul George, Luka Doncic and David Robinson. Now, there's been a lot going down today in season eight and uh, this video is going to have highlights from the stream uh, all the packs were opened live on stream and we're going to break down everything that's going on in season eight because there are plenty of discussion points there's plenty to talk about uh, and there's a lot of recycling 2k are really doing their bit to save the planet out here because there's a whole heap of recycling um 2k have also put all uh, like old cards back into packs but not like the good cards so like invincibles aren't in there heroes aren't in there, but uh, the first Dark Matters are in there, Dark Matters from like season 4, 5, 6, they're all in there, so the excitement of hitting a Dark Matter has kind of fallen by the wayside already, which is like sad, because like, you know, getting a Dark Matter should be pretty hype, but um, yes, as you will find out if you do open packs, which you should not, you'll notice um, you get disappointed quite often, but we go on to Jason's account here, we're going to open up he had half a mil to start with, we, we opened up 500,000 MT, but with each pack, you're pretty much discarding like 2,000 MT's worth of stuff, so we've probably got another 100k in discards, and we obviously opened that pack as well, um, so we probably opened about 60 packs, about 600,000 MT, and we did manage to get some end game pulls, plural, some end game pulls, so end game and invincible pulls, incoming let's go ahead and jump into it for today if you want to be able to afford any of the brand new end games or invincibles during season eight of my team make sure you check out safembamt.com for all your mt needs and use code jd at checkout for five percent off link in the description if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe for the day videos check out twitch.tv slash jd underscore crossover to see the streams every day including pack openings every single week Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the pack today. Let me know down below, did you manage to pack anything? Did you try your luck? If you did, more power to you, and I hope you don't regret it too badly. But let me know down below your best pull from the first day of season number eight. But let's run some packs. Now, are, are these new players out, actually out in the game? Do you know what I mean? Like, they are being packed. I mean, shit. Apparently, they are being packed. Season, never, season 9 earlier this year. Again, this is what I mean. Like, you had people defending it yesterday and I just didn't understand it. I didn't understand the uh, excitement yesterday at the fact that we were just going to get a daily card that was going to be a card that was already in the game. And today's first card is the J.R. Smith. And again, that's a card that's been in the game for a while. And guess what? Nobody used him when he came out. Nobody used him when he came out. May the 9th, that card is nearly two months old. They've re-released the card as two months old. Who are you? Is that Paul George or something? No, who, who are you? Uh, Danny Granger. Oh, Invincible Danny Granger. I didn't even, I forgot he was Invincible. <laughs> Invincible Danny Granger, woo! Let's go. Invincible pull for our first new card for the day. Lovely. All right, Danny Granger comes through. Good, 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 good. Let's keep it. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it rocking. Let's keep it rolling. Best card in the set. Hey, we're not mad at it. We're not mad at it. But anyway, go back to the JR. Nobody used him. He came out two months ago. So, putting a little bit of fucking filter on him like that, just making him a hollow. That does not make it good content. It's just recycled stuff. And again, nobody used him back then because he's got the hero, which is better than that anyway. So I just don't understand it. And then the argument that it's for new players. I get it. But I don't get it, because the all-time spotlights were for new players as well, so... And the all-time spotlights are better than these cards that came out two months ago, so... I don't know, there's the brand new Darius Garland. Uh, market is indeed about to die, can confirm, can confirm. It's free, but you could just buy them for 5,000 MT if you wanted to, like... But you don't want to because you, you don't want to use that card because it's a bad card. So, again, just because it's free doesn't mean it's good. Uh, it really it really doesn't. It really doesn't. How would you get Rashad Lewis? Oh, through, uh, <laughs> bro, through very, very sad means. Rashad Lewis, endgame, is the final reward for the 2K23 collector level, which is 
is is bad. Let me tell you that. That's a bald dude. That is a very very bald dude. I don't know who bald dude is. It's Manu. Heroic Manu. Good. He'll probably be one of the daily cards. You've already got him hollow now. Like, ay ay ay, ay ay ay. He's my favourite new card today. Honestly, Derek, I don't have one, man. The end games are just skins. And then uh, the Invincibles are just not... It's not doing it for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not getting gassed about a Jamal Mashburn. Or a Jerry Stackhouse. Or Baron Davis. You know, they're just... Oh, wait, where was Baron Davis? Wait, what? Did I tweet out where Baron Davis was? Wait a minute. Did I tweet out Baron Davis or not? If not, e easy ascension card. If I didn't tweet him out, no, I didn't. So Baron Davis will be your ascension card, yeah, ascension, because I, I couldn't see him. Um, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Taz, how are we doing? How are we doing? Yeah, so Baron, Baron Davis is the ascension ball, which obviously is, is you know, it's not great, is it? You don't really care about Baron Davis. Um, but yeah, so then you've got clutch time offline being end game AI. <sighs> really now, like. Genuinely, beyond pointless. Save yourself playing 100 games of Clutch Time Offline by logging into the game. And you get Steph, who's three inches taller, and other than that, literally identical. They are the same cards. So why would you play 100 games? I do not know. Who is that? Is that another Kawhi? Oi, they. Uh, triple Threat Vault obviously is uh, it's, it's in borderline impossible to get because it's a vault. Triple Threat Offline in its uh, the top of the ladder, 250 games, is for an Elton Brand. If, if you like Elton Brand, you know, ball out. The dude does have a 75 wingspan, but 250 wins in, uh, in Triple Threat Offline in, in July is bold. Is, is very, 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 very bold. Co-op and the draft is Jamal Mashburn. I mean, it's 50 wins in co-op. Nobody plays the draft. So there's 50 wins in co-op for Jamal. It's okay. You know, again, you're probably never going to use him. Is that, is that, is that good? Is that good? Ah, oh, it's all good. Ah. Oh, new. We get the old Shaq. Bro, they really is everything in this pack, isn't it? What release does he have? So he's got the Michael Porter Jr. release. Not Ken Porter Jr. Michael Porter Jr., for Jamal Mashburn. Don't exactly think that's a top tier release. As we go back to back on our Dark Matters. Triple Threat Online is, and obviously the Unlimited Vault, is Dale Ellis. It's just RNG, so you might get him, you might not. That's Invincible K, that is. Oh, that is He doesn't even have one yet, does he? I was thinking of, uh... I was thinking of the other man. God damn it. Mate, does he have one? Oh, I don't even know. God damn it, man. I hate these old cards. Uh, Clutch Time Online. Oh, the triple. Clutch Time Online being Barnyani. Uh, you know, if you're a Raptors fan, ball out. Oh, that's... Now that's... Invincible Lamello, right? Does he have an Invincible? Oh, for five minutes. Which one of these cards have... I'm sure some of these have Invincible. So they not? We got the 16-bit Lamello. That's not what I signed up for. That's not what I signed up for. Oh, these are all just trolls. You don't think Invincibles are in these? That would be, that would sound about right. Uh, unlimited 6,000 points is then your Jerry Stackhouse. Obviously, last season it was Artist Gilmore, which a lot of people really like. This time around, it's Jerry Stackhouse with what releases he got? KCP's release, which I think people do quite like KCP's release. And then at 15,000 points, it is. Uh, Oh. Oh, I mean, like, you know, meh. That's good. He's 100k. That's a card that Jason doesn't actually have. So that's actually all right. So the out of position Jokic is in there. Okay, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Uh, if you want to get JR and do the XP and get the Hoff badge. Nope, if you do the XP with each player. Each day you get one, one Hoff badge. You know, the maddest thing was somebody completed the shoe collector level, which is 1,500 colorways. And what was their reward for it? One Hoff badge. Obviously, they've got the shoes. But the group reward was one Hoff badge. Savage. 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 
so harsh. Who's that? No idea. It's taking twenty minutes to find a game, Jazz. Yeah, unlimited is 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 EU servers different. Is that a good Yarnis? It's all star Yarnis. I need to look who the new players are actually. So who are we actually looking for here? We're looking for uh, we're looking for Luca, D. Rob, Paul George, Booker, Granger, Anthony Edwards, or Boogie. Them's the guys. That's who we need to see. And we've already pulled Danny Granger, so you know we don't need another one of him. But they're the names that we're looking for. Uh, on his question, could this season be any worse? Obviously, it's just getting started, but man alive, it's it's not got excitement. It really doesn't. Who is that? There's so many people this could be. I don't want to get excited just yet because it might be a troll. But it's not. There you go. There's an end game. Luka Doncic, Paul. And go on, Jason. There we go. So we've got an invincible. And we got an end game. I didn't want to celebrate because I didn't know what other versions he had. I didn't know if there was another one that was going to come out as a troll. Uh, but end game, Luka. There you go. Do you even want to sell him or are you just going to keep him? Because, like, you've got everything. You just got to keep him. But Luka Doncic, so you can get end games in these packs. Can confirm you saw it here first. End game, Luka, in the pack. Copy and paste, Carl. Let's go, man. Copy and paste the dream. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh, sad. Oh, oh, sad. They have a hollow NBA Champions Challenge for the Nuggets Playoff Options Pack that they already released last season. Good, good, good. Play a full five-minute quarter game with 13 hollows to get the Nuggets Auction Pack again for the third time when the only card of any value is Nikola Jokic. Bro, what are they doing, man? What is this recycling? Holy schmucks. Who's this? Not a clue. What are the odds? 25%. 25. Uh, 25%. Oh, is that uh, Larry Johnson? Oh, there you go, Jazz. Larry Johnson. We get lads are coming out of it. Obviously, will be worth about 2,000 MT, but, you know, there we go. There's, there's Larry Bird. Uh, Larry Bird. Larry Johnson. Larry Johnson. Hit 700 viewers. Oh, man, we've got 700 people in here. I didn't even realise. I don't really check the numbers. I'm just, I'm just happy that anybody comes through when they come through. 700 people in here. How you doing, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Golly. We've well, seen an Invincible pool. You've seen an Endgame pool. Hopefully, we can get a bit more than that. You know, we've still got, we've still got another 25 packs to open up. Then we'll have another little look round at everything. And uh, and see what's what, um, but yeah, off 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 early impressions. I just don't think there's anything I want to uh, to grind. I don't. I don't. I, I don't think there's anything that is remotely worth grinding. And obviously, the Hoff badge is for Wemby. We're going to need if they fit him uh, for the Wemby to Glory series. So if there are Hoff badges, uh, I think there's only there's only four of them I actually need now. So if there are one of those four around here, we'll have to go in, whether that's uh, co-op, whether that's unlimited, wherever it may be, we'll have to go go find it. Other than that, for the players, uh, you know what I mean? On the main account, I would like to collect all the Invincibles. I think that would be cool. Uh, but obviously, we're not going to get the main account back until July the 22nd. So by the, by the time that comes around, uh, there will be about 20 days left of the season. I don't think I'll have time. To, to get through every game mode. I'd have to play like a little bit of a madman. And I don't think I'll have that in me at the end of July. I don't think... Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Is that KD? Playoff card? KD playoff card. Oh, it's sad. It's sad that these playoff cards are in it, man. It really is. They took away all the playoff spotlights. So why... Why, why do playoff cards in the packs? If you take away the spotlights, you know they're outdated now. Why are they in the packs? And why I like season one cards in packs. It just doesn't make sense. Nothing makes sense. And limited being full, I, I think that's got to be what one of the most egregious things I've done. Is that a... No. Vincent? It's Vincent. Um, I think the, the limited is, is shocking. All right, let's not be around a bush here. Limited is shocking. Now, we thought Limited last season was bad when it was six weeks and it was a mystery and people got to five weeks and they were like, oh, what are we going to get? And then they absolutely screwed everybody by making it Iggy. Um, and it's like, okay, well, maybe 2K will redeem themselves going into season number eight, which is, of course, this season. 
Um, but instead of that, they've actually taken a step back, believe it or not. They've actually stayed, they've actually taken a step back. Now, last season you get, what did you get? A pink diamond, a pink diamond ball at season uh, one ring. There was, I think ring five was 35,000 MT. And I think ring four was like 200 tokens, something like that. Uh, that looks like a Yarnis to me. That is a Yarnis. Um, that 35,000 MT that you got for one of the rewards last season is more than enough to buy the five rush players that are going to be available this season. Um, that's, that's so bad. Uh, untradeable cards from last season that are already 10,000 MT each. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. Was that a double Giannis, was it? Oh, I didn't even see. Rush packs limited are a joke. You'd hope they are, but... That's 2k. Again, this is this is season. This is season nine. This is it. This is this is this is what season nine. I, I would expect season nine to be. This this amount of recycling is what I'd expect season nine to be. Not season eight. Not season eight. We pulled any actual cards? We have. We pulled Invincible uh, Thing Me Bobby, Danny Granger, an End Game Luca. We did pull an End Game card as it goes. But one End Game and one. Uh, Invincible. We did also pull Darius Garland and Larry Johnson as well. So, uh, a few. Not too many. Not too many. Uh, T-Max down at 30k. Oh my god. What are we doing? Uh, like, if you could buy that car for 30k, like, oh, that's Invincible Dan Booker. Unless... <sighs> Why? God damn it. I hate it here. I hate how there's so many trolls. In FIFA, right? If a card is in packs, it's got one version and that's it. If Messi's in packs, like a team in a season card, his gold card gets taken out of packs. If you, can, if you see their name or you see it's going to be them, you know that it's going to be the card that you actually want to pull. This is just... Hi. Why? We get another Larry Johnson. A nutty one. Uh, he will be he will be dirt cheap. He'll be dirt cheap, yeah, Jason. Nothing to cheer about, but thank you nonetheless. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. You can't even get hype for Dark Matter. And that is so sad. So sad. Now if you sell your collection, it's not worth anything, heck. How how badly uh how badly burnt are you feeling by the collector level? I haven't even we haven't even spoken about it. Is that another one? I wasn't even looking! <laughs> I wasn't even looking! It's another one! Our second endgame Luka Doncic. And even this doesn't really feel that hype because he's just a clone. It's the Clone Wars. But it's another one. Another endgame Luka Doncic. I don't know how much he's going to be worth. But based on KD, you know what I'm saying? Probably not much. Not how much he's going to be worth, but probably not much. Because Endgame KD is 150k right about now. Let's go sell that one because that is a duplicate. We'll keep the uh, other one. Uh, look at all these dark matters here. Goodness me. Right, get you gone. Get you out of here, coach. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Um, it'll probably get it to... Uh, I mean, like, because he's new, he'll obviously have a bit more value. Um, but yeah, the fact that KD is 150k is, is wild. Is wild, wild, wild. Better celebrate every Larry. I'm celebrating, man. I'm celebrating. Dark Matter KP is 13k. What? Dark Matter KP is 13k. Wow. Wow. When I come back on my account with 5.6 mil, I'll be able to buy this whole game like twice over. And the sad thing is, it won't even be worth it because the reward is going to be an endgame Rashad. And to get Rashad, I'd probably have to buy KD. And KD just is Rashad. Like, oh, no, no. No, he's out. He's out, I didn't even see. I was going to say, what Wade is there? Oh, my God, that card is from so long ago. I'm like, that is Dwayne Wade, but I don't remember him having a card. Wow, that is an old card. Wow. Is there anything in the token market? Just your season six cards, man. That's it. Just your season six cards. And that's... That's about it. That's about it. We go back to back. We go back to back. 
I'll go back to back. I know we're stopping in the middle. Don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know what I'm doing. I know my orders. I know. That's another Yarny. Yep. No triple, no triple. You definitely need to take a mighty vacation because you're more mad than you should be right now. No, nah, bro, you've got every right to be mad. You've got every right. I mean, like, again, it's 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 TK and it's Junkster. These dudes have spent thousands upon thousands of dollars this year to get to the collector level, uh, to, to the top of the collector level, and uh, it means nothing. We get a triple. It, it just means nothing. <laughs> I'd be, I'd be a little bit... I'll be a little bit tilted. Is that AD? Maybe, potentially. No. Yes? Look at me. I know. I know the headband. I know that headband. Uh, that is the highlight reel card, yep. Good. Good. Uh, do these cards... Are, yeah, these, these packs are pretty much... Got, these are basically super packs, basically. But they don't have, like, the top tier cards in it. <laughs> so. <laughs> They're super packs with a little asterisk on it. They've got everything in it, but... They don't have um, Invincibles in it. They don't, they don't, they don't. We don't go four for four. And we have got five packs to go. Five packs remaining. Can we find something good? And Loud is saying we can do some more packs on his account. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. You do, you do well to top this, though. Two endgame Lucas and an Invincible. I don't, I don't think you can get better than that. That is probably about as good as it's going to be, but we can try. We, we can try. We can try. Is other KD card good investment? Absolutely not. Nothing is worth investing right now. Absolutely not. This game is now on the floor. Uh, you know, with KP being so cheap, a team map being so cheap. Um, a, a, everything is, is not worth it anymore. Uh, in terms of investing, you know, everything's going to have less and less value as days go on. So, yeah, no, wouldn't recommend, wouldn't recommend. Who is that? Is that another Larry Johnson? That is, isn't it? Another Larry Johnson. That's our third one. You know, the mad thing is, we haven't even pulled Anton Jameson. He's one of the, like, normal players in, the, in these packs. I haven't even pulled him yet. I haven't even pulled him. Right, penultimate pack. Two Lucas so far, but there is endgame D-Rob, and there is endgame the other guy. Um, Paul George. <laughs> there are other cards in here, which I've forgotten about. Final pack, Dream? Nothing on L final pack. One more for luck, you know what I mean? <laughs> One more for luck. D-Rob? Huh? 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 One more for luck, imagine. Go on. Next jersey in there, doesn't mean anything. Could be Shaq, you know. No. Yes? No. Who? Ralph? Dwight. Now. 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 Oh, he's trying to remember these Dark Matters that have come out. Like, By the way, this makes the daily stuff even worse. It does. We go back to back. I can't stop. We're, we're, we're pulling them. I can't stop. Uh, this makes the daily stuff so much worse. That's Embiid, that is. If I've ever seen Embiid, that's Embiid. If i ever seen an Embiid, that's an Embiid right there. What Embiid is there? Hero? Heroic. <sighs> zero, zero, zero. Um, but yeah, so like, all, all the cards are going to be the daily now. They're all going to be 4,000 MT. They're all going to be 5,000 MT. It'll be so cheap. We don't go for the triple, but that was about 600,000 MTs worth of packs. So there we have it. Uh, that was, uh, you know, a pretty decent pack opening, to be fair. And as we can see right here, Luca is selling for around 400k. But this is very early. He's only been selling for about 10 minutes. So prices will continue to come down. Because you see, there's actually quite a lot of Lucas up on the block. We also pulled that invincible Danny Granger. And I can't imagine Mr. Danny Granger is selling for all that much, is he? I can't imagine so. Barely over 100,000 MT. Now that sounds... About right. As for the rest of the market, it is absolutely on the floor. Uh, you can get ball balls now for a buyout. This dude was like 300k like a week or two ago. You can now easily get him for a buyout. Dark Matter Yao, you can now get. You could get earlier for a buyout. You can't anymore, but he was a buyout earlier. You can get him for 100k. Uh, but the crazier ones are people like Tracy McGrady. You can get yourself a Tracy McGrady for, I think... About 30k. 30k. You can get Dark Matter Chris Saps for like 15k. 
Like, the, the market is just on the floor right now. And there is a Dark Matter Tracer McGrady at like 35 to 40k. That's mental. So if you are opening up packs, just know there are a very, very, very limited amount of cards that will actually make you profit. The rest of them, you will lose MT upon pulling a Dark Matter. There's people today getting two Dark Matters in one pack and not making MT. Dark Matters at 5k. There are so, so many of them. And yeah, it's, it's just going to continue. It's going to get cheaper and cheaper by the day. So that is going to do it for today's video. We're going to be back tomorrow with another big boy pack opening and some more talk about Season 8. And then Sunday we'll have a video talking about the collector level. Mm. We talked about it a little bit in this uh, video. And yeah, the collector level. I, uh, we need to do, I need to talk about it. We need to talk about it. So yeah, look out for that video as well. So hope you guys have enjoyed for today. Please like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. And peace.